Well, welcome again to another episode of Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Irv Rish, and you're listening to the Internet Radio. And today we're going to continue on in our study in the book of Joshua. We're in our second session. There's ten sessions. And today we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be looking at the introduction. Uh, get my screen changed here. Okay, we're looking at the introduction to Joshua. And the first thing we see is Joshua was a prepared vessel for the service of the Lord. The history of his name is interesting. He was born in Egypt, and he was given the name Yushia, salvation. Later, Moses gave him the name uh, Jehoshia, Jehovah Salvation. The Hebrew name Joshua is equivalent to the Greek name Jesus. Now, uh, Joshua, in many ways, is a type of Jesus. Joshua had been chosen by God uh, a, a successor to Moses. See that in Numbers 27, verses 18 through 23. <clears throat> Joshua had been a servant of Moses for many years. Uh, the qualifications for Joshua, a man in whom is the Spirit. That gave him the qualifications. Let's look at some scriptures here in Deuteronomy 21, verses 7 and 8. Joshua is commissioned before all Israel. Deuteronomy 24, verses 5 and 6, the death of Moses. Uh, Deuteronomy 24, 9, Joshua takes up uh, the omission as leader of God's people. Joshua was assured of God's uh, presence. In Deuteronomy 34, 9, note that Joshua was full of the spirit of wisdom. These things, or this, must always be the qualifications for the leaders of God's people. The result, the people hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Note how the uh, complete qualifications of Joshua. And look at these three things. Filled with the Spirit, filled with wisdom, and filled with the Word. God can only use us to the extent that we will, or we are filled with these attributes. So now we come to chapter 1. In verse 1, the Lord spoke unto Joshua, Few things are sadder than running without being sent and answering without being called. See uh, 2 Samuel 18, verses 9 through 33. 2. He is instructed to go over Jordan into the land which I will give them. Very important. 3. Uh, verse 3, uh, quote uh, and explain to possess the inheritance, they had to put forth an effort in faith. Note, now the promise God made to Joshua in verse 5, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Note, or now, not now, God uh, admonishes to uh, Joshua in verse 6. Uh, it should probably be note. Well, be strong and of good courage, in verse 6. Verse 7, 
only be strong and very courageous. Note how or now the part that of the law that was played in Joshua's life. In verse 8, it was not to depart out of his mouth. He was to meditate on it day and night. Then he was to do the things written therein. For obeying the law, he would make his way prosperous and would have good success. The secret of power is to know the word. The word is the raw material for every Christian's uh, product. It is the word that blesses. It is the word that sustains, uh, directs, and keeps God's servant. Joshua was to meditate upon the law. He was to eat it, chew it, and digest it. Psalms 1 verse 2. The blessed man meditates on it, on the law day and night. It'd it be a good point to memorize uh, Psalms 1. No wonder the next verse says, And it shall be like a tree planted by the river of water. You know, the secret of knowledge is obedience. God only gives us additional information as we make proper use of the knowledge we have. Now, verse 9, Joshua, uh, like his predecessor Moses and many other of God's servants, was very timid. So, once again, God hesitates to reassure him in verses 10 through 18 and the response of faith. On the promises of God, promises Joshua immediately goes into action. You know, true faith is action. Then Joshua commands the officers of the people, and they in turn command the people to prepare food supplies in these days, uh, they would pass over the Jordan. In three days, they would pass over the Jordan. Uh, consider Joshua faith here. Food, not uh, boats. Joshua had a special message for the two and a half tribes who had been allotted land on the desert side of the Jordan. Uh, the Reubenites, Gadonites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. His first of all reminds them of their promise and obligation to help the other tribes to get settled in the land. Verses 16 through 18. These men were fearful in their words, or faithful in their words, I'm sorry. The pledge they... Uh, uh, aligned to uh, Joshua, uh, they who obey will be put, uh, disobey will be put to death. So this was very important that they obeyed the word and uh, lived up to their promise to uh, Joshua. So with that, let's just end our reading today. The end.